Gustave Courbet's self-portrait with a black dog from 1841 intriguingly balances vulnerability and confidence, featuring his intense gaze framed by tousled hair while including his loyal canine companion, symbolizing trustworthiness and creative transformation. In The Loge, Jean Barreau captures Parisian society's opulent nightlife through the opulent attire and expressions, highlighting the quintessential Belle Epoque allure permeating the theater boxes during this culturally rich era. In Vermeer's The Glass of Wine, the captivating interplay of light and subtle details skillfully captures a moment of intimate indulgence, revealing the artist's mastery in conveying domestic scenes with psychological depth. The captivating fusion of realism and symbolism explores themes of psychology and human nature, embodied through intricate details and dreamlike elements, enriching the painting's narrative intrigue. In Archibald Kay's Winter Sunshine, the subdued colors contrast with the title, depicting a peaceful Scottish landscape that embraces the fleeting rays of sunlight. The painting showcases the artist's skill in creating serene atmospheres. Piet Mondrian's Windmill showcases his stylistic transition from naturalism to abstraction, as the windmill's geometry hints at his later iconic grid-based compositions, reflecting the fusion of artistic innovation and Dutch cultural motifs. The captivating aspect in Meeting of 35 Heads of Expression is Daumier's exceptional ability to capture a range of emotions, showcasing his profound understanding of human expressions, elevating caricature to high art. In painting La Russe in a white blouse, Lautrec captures the raw vulnerability of his red-haired subject by masterfully blending loose brushstrokes and limited color palette. A captivating aspect of Van Gogh painting sunflowers is Gauguin's portrayal of Van Gogh, capturing his concentrated fervor while painting his iconic sunflower series, reflecting the intense artistic bond between these two groundbreaking post-impressionist artists. Jerome masterfully utilizes light and shadow, highlighting Socrates' wisdom amidst the debauchery, emphasizing his dedication to seeking and educating Alcibiades, even within Aspasia's house of hedonism. The palace summer morning demonstrates Sedaner's enchantment with the interplay of light and shadow. Subtle mystic hues create a serene ambiance evoking a private, dreamlike Hampton Court palace that stands frozen in the early morning hours. Federico Andriotti's The Letter captures the intricate dynamics of courtship with delicate brushwork, bringing the rich fabrics, flirtatious gaze, and hidden note to life while hinting at the era's societal complexities and constraints. Bentheim Castle captures the relationship between nature and human creations, showcasing a grandiose fortress framed by atmospheric skies and lush surroundings, signifying the interplay between mankind's achievements and the awe-inspiring power of the natural world. The striking aspect in Woman at the Mirror is the unconventional distortion of the woman's face, showcasing Picasso's signature cubist style and his ability to capture various viewpoints in a single powerful image.
In the park at Mortefontaine, Bidald masterfully blends neoclassical influence with nascent romanticism, capturing a picturesque harmony between humans and nature, evoking serenity and an almost poetic visual appeal. The visually striking aspect of Plums in a Basket is Decker's exceptional use of light and color, creating vivid contrasts that emphasize the plum's lushness and evoke the sense of nature's fleeting beauty. Peter Van Lair intriguingly subverts traditional self-portraiture. As a spellbound observer, he foregrounds an eerie scene, masterfully illuminating the fascination of 17th-century Dutch society toward the occult and supernatural. Ilya Repin's demonstration on October 17, 1905, captures a pivotal moment in Russian history. The vivid use of colors and expressive faces highlight the societal turmoil and revolutionary sentiments of the early 20th century. The Sea at Fecamp depicts the transient, ever-changing nature of light and water, illustrating Monet's mastery of color, movement, and impressionist technique, eliciting an emotional response to the beauty and power of the seascape. Edgar Degas's work, Place de la Concorde, 1876, intriguingly depicts urban atmosphere through his unconventional composition, blurring boundaries between fine art and urban realism, suggesting modernity's fleeting nature. <laughs>